although most agroecological practices have been developed through participatory and horizontal extension methods, there is need a rather weak understanding of the dynamic soil production systems and agricultural technological advancement. Government of Uganda is prioritizing investment in ICT to achieve a digital transformation agenda in agricultural technological inclusion. The agricultural sector, which has previously found it difficult to compete with other technical survey industries, is now attracting young ICT talent. I'm hoping that through innovations like these ones, the young generations will start to see agriculture as an attractive venture. The ministry, in conjunction with United Nations Capital Development Fund, has launched an agricultural application to devolutionize agriculture through promoting information access. Using digital platforms to access information, we are using digital platforms to access healthcare, but there are those in danger of being left behind. We're talking about rural farmers, women, refugees, migrants, small businesses. And so the program that we are running focuses on ensuring that no Ugandan is left behind in this digital era. Lokorio says much is needed to promote innovation and the commercialization of ICT products, digital inclusion and digital literacy among farmers. Those who are in danger of being left behind are actually at greater risk for reduction in productivity, for low, uh, they, they need to have better well-being. And so technology can play a role. And so the projects that we're launching today are really geared towards that, to build an inclusive digital economy in Uganda. Basing on new NCDF, this project is to start from the northern region with overall aim of developing sustainable industrial and farming systems and encourage the uptake of technology for intensive agriculture. Abdul Nasele Lubama, UBS Business.